there's three words that come to mind when defining a strong black woman. And that would be courage, that would be perseverance, and that would be weakness. A woman that goes against the grain. Regardless of her skin color, she has to rise up against all the ignorance and stereotyping and just what not only men but other women say about her. She's reliable. She's a dedicated worker. Her drive and her courage um, that she's able to wake up every day and go after that dream she has and to never give up. I feel like that's really important. As black women, we go through so many trials and we face so many different things daily, you know, from raising kids, raising kids that's not ours, from working jobs and doing so much. Um, and we're faced with a lot. We wake up every day willing to face whatever that comes towards us. She has to shine brighter than the sun. Some days she doesn't want to, but today is always the day. I lost my brother to gun violence in the city of Trent. Being a mother at the age of 15, my lowest point would be a depression or this anxiety that I don't know that I have. That's my lowest point. I lost my son. Just having no answers for death and no answers for his life after death um, really um, was hard for me. At that moment, I just didn't feel that I would ever be enough, that I could never be enough because I wasn't as educated as I should have been because I was only 15 years old. Um, just not knowing the environment that I came from, I didn't have any tools to life, I just, I didn't have a mind frame, I, were, I wasn't a positive person at the time, and I just feel like I really have brought somebody to this world and I just was incapable and I wasn't worthy. Because I get to travel the world and I see different communities, different cultures, and my heart breaks for people that don't understand their power and their purpose and the pain that they go through and the position they are in their life. And I just want to help help people help themselves. Um, I work in construction with men. And every day is a challenge for me as a black female because I'm being judged on everything that I do, no matter how good I am, no, ma no matter how much I do, no matter how I show up. I'm there giving more than most of these guys that's there. And I'm still being challenged. And at the end of the day, I look at myself and say, don't give up. You can do this. You got this. Don't let them take something that God gave you. And that's a gift. I'm a black woman. I'm proud to be black. And I'm going to stand on my own. I am more than a cockerel. I am intelligent. I am bold. I am talented. I am independent. I am blessed. I am beautiful. I am a strong black woman. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. No matter what comes at you, whatever you're faced with, just know that you can do it. Don't give up. You will fall, but you get up and you don't give up. You are a beautiful black sister. Be bold. I have no hair. It's just me, myself, and I. Um, you bring what you have to the table, and as long as you put your best foot forward, there's no reason for you to get what you want. Smile. Smile can go a long way. Even when you're feeling your worst, just give that smile, and I promise it will be better soon. Continue to be you. Um, keep your power. You don't need anyone, anybody that you let in your, your life. It's a privilege to be in your life. You don't have to chase after people, friendships, relationships, um, chase after God and your spirituality. You have to believe that you're enough. Doesn't matter if you have two dollars in your bank account or two million. Doesn't matter if you're a size zero, two, or a size 24. It doesn't matter if you have an associate's or if you have a doctorate. Like, that stuff doesn't matter. It's good stuff and it's a good, you wanna be healthy, but that stuff doesn't determine your worth. So I would like to tell you, you are worthy. You are beautiful. You are awesome. The advice that I would give them is to to fought through your life. Never give up. Never give up. Be comfortable in the skin that you're in. God made you black for a reason.